Hey everybody, I want to come from a different point today. So I'm sitting at my desk I usually work at. I took the um, screen off so you can see my painting in the back there. So it's Tuesday, the 19th of January. Did you like the music leading into this? It was uh, almost like a Van Gogh inspired painting with Chopin playing in the background. Now Chopin and Van Gogh never met each other, but it's possible that Van Gogh did listen to Chopin because Chopin was born 1810 in Poland and died in 1849 at the age of 39. Van Gogh wasn't born until 1853 and died at, in 1890 at the age of 37. So they never met each other, but it's possible Van Gogh might have heard some of Chopin's compositions. Possible. What do you think, Vincent? He's never happy, never. Did it relax you, listening to Chopin? Never an answer. But he did meet another painter whose birthday is today, and that is Paul Cézanne. Paul Cézanne was born in France in 1839, and died in 1906. Now, Paul Cézanne didn't, wasn't really recognized until later in his life. But when he met Van Gogh, oh, now he's really gonna get mad when I tell him this. He thought he painted like a madman. What do you think about that, Vincent? Paul Cezanne didn't really care for your paintings. Eh. Always has the same frown on his face. So that was, he was born January 19th. Also on this day, Dolly Parton was born in 1946. Edgar Allan Poe. 1809 to 1849, so he didn't live that long. And Robert E. Lee, that famous general, 1807 to 1870. And his property became Arlington National Cemetery. So there was another birthday today. Janis Joplin. I don't know if any of you were fans of Janis Joplin. I personally was not a fan of Janis Joplin for several reasons. You know, a lot of people think she was a fantastic singer. I don't really agree, but, you know, I like me and Bobby McGee, that song. She's born January 19th, 1943 in Port Arthur, Texas. She released three albums, died of heroin overdose in 1970 at age 27. She wasn't the first one to die at, 90, 20, at the age of 27. You know how they say the 27 Club, there were quite a few. Jimi Hendrix, her, um, someone else I'm going to mention soon, Jim Morrison. Who else? Um... Kurt Cobain, I don't know. One thing I read about her, she died, the um, writer of the article said she died of accidental heroin overdose. I'm sorry, when you're dealing with heroin, you're dealing with danger anyway. I used to be an alcohol and drug counselor. I'm a little, into, I shouldn't say intolerant. I don't have much patience for it. I just can't see the point. I could never see the point. I mean, and heroin is very hard to get off. It really is. Um, they, for some people, they used to put them on methadone, and that was just as addictive. So I don't know what they do nowadays. I mean, I haven't worked as a counselor for a long time. So, Janis Joplin's greatest influence was Bessie Smith who was also known as the Empress of the Blues. 
She found out Smith was buried in an unmarked grave in Pennsylvania after her death in a car accident. I read about that car accident. It was pretty horrible. And um, it, some of it didn't make sense, you know, how they couldn't get to the hospital in time. Um, I think it was out in the middle of nowhere that, that didn't help. But Bessie Smith is buried in Pennsylvania. So um, Janice Joplin paid for a tombstone for her. And the epitaph on the tombstone says, the greatest blues singer in the world will never stop singing. It's kind of nice. Jack, Joplin loved to drink. Another reason I wasn't crazy about her. I just not big on excess. She loves Southern Comfort. I used to drink Southern Comfort in college. I can't touch it now. She loved to drink Southern Comfort and she made it very popular. And the distillery gave Joplin, Joplin a fur coat. So this fur coat went well with her Porsche, which was painted in psychedelic colors with a mural of birds, butterflies, floating eyes, landscapes, mushrooms, and skull-like faces. That's a big thing, the skull-like faces. I don't care for that either. I remember when I lived in Arizona, the big thing is Day of the Dead. It always gave me the creeps. <laughs> One of my friends, her uh, her grandson loves that. She just crocheted him something with, uh, you know, like a d day of the dead, the skull-like faces. So in 2015, the poor sold at an auction for 1.76 million. Some people have just too much money. Uh, the, so that poor sold, that's nice. Joplin turned down Jim Morrison of the Doors. He wanted to uh, date her or whatever, and she said, nope. And he was a little upset about it too. Well, they're partying all together, I guess now. The last recording she did was for John Lennon's birthday. And the recording was made October 1st in 1970. She died October 4th in 1970. And she recorded Happy Trails. And the lyrics are, Happy Trails to you until we meet again. So I guess maybe John's up there partying with them as well. So that's about it. It's going to be a short... Um, recording or video tonight. I don't think I'm going to do anything tomorrow. I'm probably going to be busy with work. In fact, I have to get off here and do some research. How exciting, right? So hope everybody's fine and I shall see you when I see you. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot the affirmation for today. How could I do that? It's about laughing every day. Laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face by Victor Hugo. Even a baby responds happily to the sound of laughter. I can't just make myself laugh, we say, when someone chides us for being grumpy. But we can. Every day is full of amusing moments. If we take time to notice and appreciate them, we can even laugh at ourselves. Well, I do a lot of laughing at myself. <laughs> and the affirmation is I will laugh wholeheartedly today and I am going to read the affirmation for tomorrow since I don't think I'll be making a video keeping friends people even more than things have to be restored renewed revived reclaimed and redeemed never throw out anyone by Audrey Hepburn Beautiful lady. As we go through life, we make and lose many friendships. 
We grew apart, we say, when a friendship we valued drops away. We stopped seeing friends who were once close to us because our lives have gone different directions. But it can take only a little effort to keep lost friends in our lives. Perhaps the friendship has changed. The person we used to talk to every day is now someone we see only once or twice a year. But our life is richer for keeping this person in it. And the affirmation is, what friend have I not talked to in far too long? I will reach out today by phone, letter, or email. So, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Okay, take care everybody and hope everybody's well. Bye.